so it's part two of my autumn plan video if you haven't seen part one i will link it up here last year's hero pieces what i want to do this year and sharing with you the fabrics so we covered all the comfy snugglies we uh, covered um hero pieces from autumn winter 23 into 24 and what i wanted to sort of follow in this year we covered colour palette which I'll put up here again so we're talking jewel tones and I really want to stick with that because it will bring together the pieces from last year as well so now we're on to part two and this is where we can get into some other sort of I want to be realistic but it's nice to have a bit of aspiration at the same time so some sort of try and experiment bits but also in this one i will share some of my woven plans because last episode ended up being very jersey heavy um so first of all so what i'm wearing i am wearing a closet core tee which is a free pattern with a lovely fabric i bought oh i didn't buy it so it was very kind of given by legend textiles it's like a nice thin t-shirt weight which is perfect for this cross seasonal weather so let's start with some things that i have that i want to sew up and we'll sort of work from there so i have this gorgeous plum colored boucle i really want to do something with this it's got a nice back to it so i always like a look at the back because if it's going to be around my neck or something like that so i'm thinking either a jacket or a jump up or a cardigan i was talking a lot in last episode about making sure i've got all the colour cardigans to bring everything together so this could be a cardigan couldn't it so it'd be a nice one it wouldn't be too drapey so that is definitely going to be like a snuggly item and then i want to dive into the world of sewing with denim i've sewn with denim before in previous iterations of my sewing in terms of upcycling making bags etc but denim in terms of clothes for me it's not been something i've hugely touched on and so i got this lovely blue denim which i think i can't remember yes has some stretch to it i bought it from the little shop of fabrics in smarden in kent and i was thinking either a nice pair of trousers so i bought the so how seven ones i'll put them in here can't remember their name or i would love a suggestion is it the lander pants is that quite good i don't feel i have a pattern in my vast collection that would work for a denim pair of trousers i like the idea of sort of a firmness around the waist i'm up for doing the zip or it could make a denim skirt but i tell you what i've never had great success with wearing denim skirts because of the fit because my hips are a lot wider than my waist it's always in like a weird ridey up gappy thing I suppose making my own that could be different would i wear it as much as trousers that's the question not gonna let myself make a jacket i'm sure i could but i won't so those two are things i really want to include in my plans but then there's something else i've been thinking about a lot now if you are an existing viewer you will know I went on a great foray of quilted jackets and some of them are going to need to find new homes I have asked for previous suggestions on how that can happen because I didn't necessarily make them in a colour that worked for me I was much more interested in trying them out and that sort of thing but quilting in clothing is something I really quite like and I really have fallen down a hole of looking at quilted sweatshirts I really like the idea of the inside being like the fleece back of a fleece back sweatshirt and then the outside being lots of quilted fabric together because a person can only wear so many quilted jackets but I was thinking when I'm sat here working or sewing in the winter and it's chilly what an amazing thing it would be to have a quilted jumper so it's like a mini version really of like these oodies and these big snugglers which although they're lovely when you're sitting and working you want that flexibility so i was thinking either like a raised neck or a hood um and it's a great opportunity to use up bits of fabric that i haven't got a huge amount of anymore or my old fat quarters 
or bits of men's shirts that I've found and it can all then be in the lovely jewel tones. So I'm really, if you've got any tips, suggestions, great ideas for quilted jumper, let me know. I was watching Emily in Paris, the new season, I think it's season three, is that what I say? Um, and one of the characters in there, the, the lady from Greece, the, the girlfriend, of, I don't know, I'm dreadful with names, she had a quilted jacket and skirt on, which was quite amazing. Um, I don't think I'm ready for quilted skirts or trousers, I think they feel a bit bulky, but... Or oh, I'm really thinking about how snuggly I'd be in a quilted jumper, like when I'm sat here. Um, so that is definitely on my sort of list of things. And as I say, quilted jackets were wearing out, but quilted jumper for at home. Hmm. Then I have these, which I shared with you in my finds from Tenterden in my threading my way through Ken. If you haven't seen it, it's worth having a look because I have a great... Uh, explore and I got this huge packet of English paper piecing that someone else has already done I, <laughs> they were using like backs of things here um, bits of cards look I love it and so many lovely ones now just imagine these on a piece of sweatshirt fabric like like lovely panels of these oh goodness me they're gorgeous aren't they look I'm really excited to use this and I'm really excited that somebody who put all of the time into creating these, who for whatever reason wasn't able to use them, which I feel really sad for them, but I feel I'm really hopeful that they will be excited to know that I have done something with them and their colour palette, uh, much kudos, look at them, look. I did have an idea. Some of my lovely vintage fabric would be really nice with a quilted snack. So tips please on how I could use these when I saw them. It was £8 for all of them but I just thought the work that someone has put in, look, just glorious, absolutely glorious and there's some lovely planes. I can't wait to have like a jumper with these on. So I love the idea of what I saw, sorry I can't remember her name but I'll link her and put a little picture of her here. She did quilted sleeves on a sweatshirt, loved it, inspired by anthropology and so I thought these would be gorgeous to do that with as well. Some more diamond ones look what you think to do with these. I'm not going to make a quilt for bed. I want to put, incorporate it in some clothing because I the joy in wearing these. Um, and so I would like to do a sweatshirt with the sleeves and then a full quilted jumper. I'll put a link in somebody's vlog I watched about that as well. And of course, now I've found the patterns I like for quilted jackets I would like to make one in the right colourway and I did have a chat on my vlog with you the other week about these three puppies and whether actually making a quilted jacket those might be the right thing to do I made a quilted waistcoat body warmer whatever you like to call it a gilet for the busy bee transformation challenge and I am very, very happy with it because I realise that when you keep your bit of your body warm, it can really help A, bring an outfit together again, and B, you can wear something that you perhaps wouldn't wear otherwise. And so I definitely want to make another one of those. So I am thinking of using like jewel tone bits such as corduroy needle cord. So things like this and like plum colours and all of that. So you imagine all that lovely sort of um, jewel tones quilted together and then maybe on the back like a plain colour. And by doing it in that fabric as well, there'll be like that'll have like warmth and texture to it. So thinking about doing one with a slightly more sort of shaped front. I know that waistcoat slash gilets was on my lists for last year and I did try to make a pink cable knit one it didn't quite turn out the way I wanted but that means this winter I can come back and try again I have got 
the Maison Faux free waistcoat pattern. So I will have a go at that. And up there on top of the wardrobe um, are unfinished projects slash upcycly bits. And there is a denim shirt in there that I've started to cut to make a waistcoat with as well. I just feel like sometimes when you've got like a blouse shirt or whatever when you put one of those to the top it just pulls other things together so that's definitely on the list of things if you have seen a great way of using cable knit to make one let me know let me show you the one i did make i think thinking back i probably should have lined it to give it more stability so i cut it the right shape using a waistcoat I had but can you see how it's doing like little curly things at the bottom and I do need to finish the sleeves I have overlocked and let me put it on a minute maybe I was just being too hard on myself there you go so it so I could definitely put a popper on see now I just I don't know maybe I was being too hard maybe it has worked out better than I thought perhaps it has let's do it. maybe it's one of those things i just need to wear and wander around the house in for a bit and maybe yeah i was maybe i've been overthinking it so while i'm here last episode i talked to you about some madras fabric and making a suit here it is jacket and trousers i just feel it'll be the most joyful suit ever so uh do let me know what you think so what next? So it is woven time and so I would like to make some more shirts slash blouses and I'd like to talk to you about the I Am Barbara and this was something I finished as we were coming out of the winter and I've just got to put the buttons on it and because we went into summer sewing I just, I just paused it but this is done apart from the buttons and finishing the sleeves and so I've done the lovely bit like this on the back. So I would like to make another one of these, possibly in a plain fabric to go with some patterned things. Um, so nice blouse or shirt is definitely like on the cards. The last thing really is to talk about woven trouser patterns and fabric. So let me go and grab some bits and we'll talk about that. <laughs> yes I've changed outfit oh but that's what life is like isn't it when you're a vlogger in your spare time so I think I last said talking about woven trousers so if you haven't seen my trouser pursuit my many exploits into trouser patterns through the summer I was trying out different trouser patterns with sort of more summery fabrics some of those trouser patterns are definitely going to work as I go into the autumn months. So I thought I'd show you a few of the bits. So I've had for a while in my stash this. It's a very lightweight denim. I don't think it has any stretch, I say. No, no stretch. But it's nice and lightweight. So I thought it might make like a nice pair of bob pants. Yes, I got the pattern. Um, or possibly the free range slacks. Um, if you've made a trouser in a lightweight denim that you think works really well, do let me know. The Mitchell trouser pattern, which I have still haven't done from last winter from Closet Core, thought that might work well because it's, it's quite lightweight. It would cope with the, the folds in it. So that's definitely being sewn up. <laughs> definitely. And then I've picked up this in a sale. Now this is actually the back of the fabric. This is a chambray, so this is the front here. Sorry, I'm getting to that. So that's look at that. That is like autumn in a fabric, isn't it? So this is similar as well. This is a chambray, and does that have stretch? I'm trying to remember. There is like a sparkle to it, which makes me think there's a last stain in it. Let me grab a bit. Oh yes, look at that. It will have a good bit of movement to it. So I was thinking this would make a really lovely pair of like the free range slacks the chanterelle but maybe like a full straight down leg that sort of thing thought this would make a really nice um now i'm thinking jumpsuit 
I think that'd be quite intense, a jumpsuit in that plane. What's that closet cool one called, that jumpsuit? It's not a flight suit. Blanca, Blanca flight suit. Oh, okay, so it was going to be trousers. Now I'm asking myself, is it going to be a jumpsuit? So I think this will work really well with some of my patterned fabric. And if you think of these dual tones, let me just bring this across the screen. Beep, 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 beep. Look at the way that literally sums up the dual tones. Obviously, we've got grey in there, but I'll forgive it. This came from... Hmm, can't remember. But look how that works. Imagine that as a top with these trousers. Look at that. So this is what I mean about trying to combine things together. Maybe a pinafore dress, because that could go underneath. Ooh, okay, so that, and if you look at this one, now I know this came from Bornella in the summer. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I kept it for this time of year because of the autumnal palette that I knew I wanted to have. So look again, look. So that one, originally I had thought dress, but now I'm thinking separates because just going together. Yeah. So definitely this is a great opportunity while I've got these together just to show how like the things work together and how they would work with this charcoal they sort of re it really sort of pings them off doesn't it oh look at that and then uh going with the the pattern ones as well this one i want to say lamazi or bornello i think um again look dun, dun, dun. and this one's got lovely like blues in for like it's like those purples and and that kind of trouser uh look so i feel like a trouser in that this one i definitely had three meters so i was really thinking i think this might be a stretch viscous yeah see i was thinking like have a godmother peony or something but now i'm thinking top and skirt because then when you wear them together it looks like a a, a dress but then you've got the separate so if you think back to the Marilla Walker Nautilus top that I made that I hacked into a dress several times, I'll put a picture here. What if I made that as a separate top and skirt and then I could mix and match the top with other things and the skirt with other things? And that's a way of creating like this sort of collection where you can wear together but separately. There is the, it's the finely patterned square neck top. Now I've not I'll put a picture in here while I'm talking and I can't remember how I'll know when I'm doing the editing for this if you can do a long sleeve because if you can't I'm sure I could hack a long sleeve and I think that would be a nice like sort of a nice square neck because then I'm thinking if I did it loose enough imagine like a sort of a plum lilac-y like roll neck underneath and then these are trousers or the whole thing together or I do love it when I do these bits with you and I know people say they like this I, I, I just think of the things as I'm telling you um, and then go with this lovely gorgeous themes together this double gauze that I picked up in the shop in Tenterdom and again look that top with that skirt so I was really I only bought one meter I think so I was really channeling top with this one that's much greener in real life as well this green is the hardest color to get right on camera so that one i was thinking like a nice just like romy lantern sleeve something like that and look at those two together gorgeous what about the burnt orange with it mm, let's have a look interesting color combo don't hate it so pop that over there and then the one other fabric I'd really like to use is what would often be considered like as a neutral because it's like the denim but it has got this zebra print. Now I have bought this not summer, I think I bought it January when I went to Anglesey with Christine in Abercom and they described this as a chambray but I think this is thicker and it's definitely not going to stretch. And I thought this again would make a great pair of trousers. I have undenied about a jacket. Stop making jackets, Christine. It's all your fault. Um, but I thought a nice trouser. And then I was thinking, do these tops work? So that holding it up. Oh, interesting. Not sure. 
I think I need to lay some pieces against this before I make it because I might be ending up creating an orphan piece here and maybe this is more of a spring summer fabric and that's a hard reality seeing as I've had it since January and I should have perhaps made it but I think it's a good example of lay the things with each other and test them out because you can suddenly see what is jarring with the rest of the palette and I don't think that's in the collection I think that's got to go on the floor now a slight rogue entry is this which again I think I might not be able to do for this to the the autumn winter I need to think carefully because what I do not want is lots of things taking space in my wardrobe and not getting worn when actually when they're with the right pieces they will so I think I need to lay this one as well as that one with my spring summer clothes before they get put away to see if it works better with them because if it does I would rather pack this remember this and know that this is going into the collection for next spring because I'll be excited then I'll be looking forward to it when spring comes and um won't be then struggling and disappointed all winter when I can't pair it with something and I think that is where we can sometimes end up um I think this should be an ironing board chat shouldn't it when we end up creating orphan pieces so I'm gonna have a check out of that but I think that that is a really good flavour of my plans I have done a little bit of autumnal sewing already at the Sun Social. It's not finished, but it's going to be a roamy lantern sleeve. So I've done the nice lantern bit in here. I really love that. I'm really thinking of doing a sweatshirt with that. And it will gather in more as well. So when I do the sweatshirt, I'll probably need it to come in more. This was a remnant and I got like 0.8 or something. So I will be doing the cuff and the bottom of the sleeve in the fabric that's on the back so I've colour blocked the back in this plain pink and I think that's going to be fine because once I've done the, the cuff in it and the neck band in it and I would say don't be frightened to have a go at doing something like this with a remnant because it's a great way to enjoy a fabric and I use up a remnant without feeling that it's got to be the whole pattern because sometimes that can feel a bit overwhelming as well so I think this definitely look that's definitely in the palette range that will go really nicely with these trousers look at that but also with these nice teals look 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 at that um this is what I would love um is a pet this kind of color for a, a trouser oh yes watch out some suitable like twill or something in that color <sighs> yeah that would be good wouldn't it so that's in progress and um will be first bit of autumnal sewing and uh yeah, so I can't wait. I'm real excited, but I'm not prepared for autumn to be here, <laughs> I have to say. Good news is that when I'm filming this, the sun was out today. I was able to hang some washing and dry it. And this week coming, we've got 20, 21, I think even 22 degrees Celsius one day. And um, But what I would say is I'm looking forward to sewing for autumn so that when it is here... And when I get my autumn clothes out and my summer clothes go away, that I'm excited. And this goes back to something I said in a vlog last autumn. Oh, do I remember which one? I can't off the top of my head. Um, was about not wanting to rush through a season. And I read an article last winter about how a lot of the Scandinavian countries really sort of embrace the season and I think we're beginning to do that a bit more here now with things like um, really sort of dressing our homes for the autumn and and enjoying sort of snuggling down and, and I'm a bit worried now some people are sort of rushing into it I think we want to embrace each season when it's here but not rush to get to it that's that fine balance of the two isn't it I'd love to know what your favorite season is mine is spring do leave me a comment about what your favourite season is and also what you're excited to do if you're going into autumn or if you've been through autumn and are 
are on your way out of winter now into spring what 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 did you enjoy about it and uh, I will catch you again soon and I'll see you in the comments between now and then bye